morning all. <laughs> Evening. Evening. <laughs> We're uh, having a late one. Yeah, because uh, Superstar Electrician did all the lighting last time. We can now work a bit later. He's saying that later, actually. It's about five o'clock in it, but we're working a little bit later today. So, what are we doing? What are we doing? Fran's <laughs> going to do a coffee. update on our... She's doing a coffee now. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Yeah. Uh, Fran's going to do an update on spending. Yep. Yeah. We're going to... Uh, just... Uh, you saw the water tank last time. My arm... Is it going to go that... What's my... Go that way. <laughs> you saw the to line the water tank last time. Uh, we were talking about this the other day. Normally, we've been gluing, nailing all the all the tongue and groove. Uh, we think that's a bad idea there. So, I've just started dr drilling pilot holes, and we're going to uh, screw that uh, all those all those vertical tongue and grooves in. Just in case we ever need to get it to it. Anyway. If you ever need to get to that tank, okay, it's going to be a complete pain because the fire's in the way and everything but and it ain't full yet so we don't we're hoping it won't leak <laughs> god I'm more, I'm more than hoping it won't leak it ain't gonna leak uh, but you know if, if you ever need to get in there then all that wood we'd have to smash that to, to get in there and that. so we're going to try and make it as removable as possible so just started doing those pilot holes we like I said before we've got the what do you call it? Fireboard for the back fireboard. of the fire? Yeah. So, I'm going to go and get that cut. Well, when I say I'm going to go and get it cut. You're going to cut I'm it. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> uh, and hopefully, uh, don't know yet, but hopefully we get the solar panels on. Yeah. Yeah, so, and a ton of other things. We've just ordered our thermo wood. Yeah. For, to finish the ceiling. That. Yeah. Uh, another £650 lighter. Yeah, and that's a lot of our money now. We're skint. Yeah, we are skint now. Keep subscribing. <laughs> We're skint. Yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, we 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 well out of money, aren't we? But yeah. uh, and we've just well, we've got to order our flooring as well. But that that's yeah, that's that's three hundred pounds worth of flooring as well. So not too bad. We we'll get there. We we'll get there. Uh, we're gonna. We're trying to, like we said before. Uh, <laughs> We can, um, we're going to try and work on the boat pretty much most of January, aren't we? Yeah. Restart work again on the 1st of Feb. But this is the first time these guys have seen the lights on yeah. in, in the dark. Yeah. So we did have some comments, well, I way too many lights or whatever. Okay, I did sort of work it out, but anyway. Even when they're all on, it's not that bright. So uh, let me... There's a warm glow. Uh, if we just step back a little bit, those are the lights. In fact, they look brighter in the camera than they actually are, I think. Mm. Those are the lights that are in the saloon area. Breaking Trip hazard. <laughs> those are the lights are in the saloon area. At the moment, these, these are the bathroom lights that are on. Uh, no bathroom to be seen yet. Those are the bathroom lights. And if I turn those, oh, as if miraculously. You just shut them off again? I didn't know which one you put on. The kitchen. Well, turn it back on again. Okay, so these will be the kitchen lights. Now, and the bathroom lights are on. Ah, I'll turn the wrong one off. No, That's it. Sir. So, um, I don't know whether you can see with camera and stuff, but if That's you're actually standing, if you're actually standing here, the lights are actually sort of forward of you, if that makes sense. They do look really bright on the camera, but I don't know what they're they're on video. They're not. Uh, you've got plenty of light there to be working with, so... We, we think it's just... the ones. That's the donut. Yeah. But you're never going to have all those on together no. anyway. No. And most of the time, we'll have more lights on down lights there. On maybe down the kitchen the lights here. Maybe the centre light and over the dinette and maybe just the kitchen on. Yeah, and you've seen, you've seen our, our, our lighting that's over the dinette as well. So multiple ways of lighting that area, mm -hmm. which is what we, we were trying to think about, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's definitely not too bright. No. I, I, I don't know if it's coming across that on the on camera but it, it's it to me it's just right mm. it's not bright at, at all no it's really not bright. Isn't bright at all so anyway i'm gonna crack on pilot drilling that then i can get that on there's a socket i need to put on down there yeah socket i need to do down there so let's get on with that then shall we so yeah down at that uh, bow bulkhead i've got to build a step for here 
but I want to be able to I haven't drilled those yet I did those I wanted to be able to do you know I'm gonna get some longer screws yeah so all of these screw heads here will be hidden by the step uh, and everywhere else will be hidden by trim that piece of packing didn't like that too much not there that's why that's all right I say I'll be able to get any time I want. I'll be able to get these off. Go on then. Put pipes to all the uh, water tank and everything, yeah? Yeah, well, that's the thing. I have got to put. Well, it's only what it's only it's only one pipe that's got to come out of there. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I'll be able to use the multi-tool there probably just to get a pipe through. I'm not quite sure which way we're going yet. I think it's I think it's that way, isn't it? So I'll carry on with these. And also we're going to raise the fire up as well, the plinth. So we'll have a look at that, shall we? Raise the plinth up so we can run any pipes that we want underneath that. Uh, seems like a good idea to me. But anyway. All in the planning. <laughs> if there were, yeah, if there was any. <laughs> So it's been a bit of a tedious day, but Martin's just finishing off. He's put all the plugs in, light switches, all down the boat. I've still got a few more to do. Just a couple left to do. Yeah. I'm making a right meal of this and all. <laughs> but these could do the longer screws, really. These are... He's put obviously the, the wires through for our wall lights as well. So, and we've all did the bulbs for them, haven't we? Yeah. So we've all put them on. Here's another one he's done. He's got that one left to do down there. But he's done all down the boat. All the plugs and sockets are all on there. <clears throat> and although he's an electrician, he hates the job. <laughs> I do, it's weird. <laughs> I don't get it. It's weird. I, I don't get any satisfaction from doing electrics. I never have. I should have gone to art college. <laughs> and there is a story there, isn't there? <laughs> well, I, I got a place at art college when I left. Was leaving school. And my dad says, there's no there's no money, in, there's no future in drawing. Get yourself to Bridget Steel and that's what I ended up. That's your dad's fault then. Well, uh, it, is, it is my dad's fault. But at the same time, I've never been out of work, so. Although I should be trying to put these bloody screws in. <laughs> it's because they're not long enough. It's because these are so thick. Yeah, the screws work. need to be a little bit longer. I have got some in the in the in the van, so I might just leave these. They just need to be that little bit. You can get extended screws. They're another, another well, another five ten mil longer. Yeah, quite small, aren't they? It's because this is so thick, so this, I, I struggle to get the screws to to start. So I have I have got some in the van. I've, I've always got some of these extended length screws, socket screws. So we'll have to. I'm just going to, I'm just going to abort the mission. <laughs> you can see up this fells again. So not, not just bare cables. No. Job done. Or not. <laughs> oh, 
half done, which is about normal. Half done. But at least they're all on now. We ain't got any others left to do. Uh, just our bedroom lamps I've in got, it, really. I've got, I've, got, I've got a couple in the kitchen to do. There's one. We've, we've added one. this one, ain't mine? Because this, this part, this section here is going to be our kitchen. And we one down there we by the compressor. But you added this one in, didn't you? Yeah, I'm going to put one in the pew in here. Yeah, we're yeah we're gonna put one in the back of the pew there. So you can you can plug so you can in work it like when we're sitting on the dinette. There's a plug down below for your like laptop or whatever. So we've got another one down there. That'll be for the oven and the ignition eventually, won't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, double socket the there. Top? But we haven't done, he hasn't messed with that one yet because this one this side's live. That's live. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. And there's a couple in the bedroom in there. Yeah. Two in the bedroom there. Yeah, I said that. I said we've got to do two for the lamps, haven't we? So, there we go. And there's the 12 volts to go in there as well. The holes are cut and everything, but. Well, we just pulled the plinth out. We said we're going to raise that up. This is the fireboard 25mm thick fireboard. We're going to tile on top of that. But we're going to make that corner uh, nice with this. We've got two sheets of this fireboard. Very expensive stuff. It's about £97 for two sheets. So uh, we're going to get that cut, get that piece cut at the back, raise the raise the plinth up, probably on on one row of bricks, I'd imagine. Well, we only want it the same height as the the plinth that you put around the edge, don't we? Yeah, that'd be about that, I think. Yeah. Well, I'll match, I'll match them to suit anyway, so. Where's the dustpan? We don't want to be blowing this stuff around. Cause it's, I don't know what it's got in it, probably bits of glass and all sorts of stuff. It would have been ba asbestos back in the day, wouldn't it? Yeah. Have you got the pen? I'll, I'll just need to mark where that gas pipe is. Oh, this stuff's really delicate. Oh, no, don't fit. Go under there. That gas pipe's sort of sits there. Uh, where is it? There. You're going to put a notch in it? Yeah, I've just got to cut the corner off, really. So just there. Uh, just that corner off there. Bit more. <laughs> oh.
the sea fat fish, shall we? Mm. See, when I'm going to put some spaces on the back anyway just to give us that an air gap between the two but that there's no way that fire is going to burn through that stuff no it's quite thick isn't it? yeah yeah there's a gap at the bottom hmm? there's a gap at the bottom a little bit yeah but I'm, like i say i'm gonna put some i'm just gonna put some spaces behind there and screw that down onto some blocks and that that will just lift so, like, so will that sit behind the the marble then yeah so the marble's going to be further forward then oh i see what you mean when i put the back one on yeah okay we've just been bouncing a few ideas around I was always going to raise it, so we just raise it up. A brick height at the a moment. A brick height at the moment, because all, all all we're trying to think is that there'll be a water pipe that we want to come and do here, and there's hot water pipes coming out the back of. Yeah, let me turn that round. Uh, these pipes here, because this has got the water jacket on it. So there'll be pipes coming out the back as well. So we've just raised that up. Just temporary on bricks at the moment. We need to put that on a wooden base. And then we'll sit the fireboard on top of that now, won't we? We'll sit the fireboard on With top now. So I've just got to recut that. See what that distance is and then I'll just recut that. Okay, so these are the T's used for piping in our radiators. Pipe life. Cheers Dave. Uh, that, at that height, because we want to take a skirting all the way down there to hide all our pipe work, it's it's too Not tight. tight. It, is too, it is too tight because this, this insert here has to be free to move and in fact when you undo them I can't even get into that bag, here we go. <laughs> when you first put the pipe in, they're, they're, they're sort of unlocked like this. And then once the pipe's pressed home, you lock them down. Well, there just isn't enough clearance there. It's one of those things again, when, you build, when you're building a boat, that you've got to think, it's not just about, oh, that looks good. It's, it's that next step, that next thing that's going to trip you over. So I'm just going to lift it a bit. He's getting his work out lifting this oh, marble. God, that, that piece of marble so heavy. <laughs> so now when we come off that and the skirting is to the top of this, we'll have plenty of room because you, you've got to allow for the thickness of the, the wood as well. So there's, there's plenty of, there'll be plenty of rigor room there so we can put that vertical pipe into the rads. Yeah. And then to be honest, to the fire, it doesn't make any difference anyway. And we'll put a, a wooden skirt around here as well, won't we? Yeah, yeah, we're always going to do that anyway, won't we? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So that's that. And now I've got to cut that again. <laughs> Measure the board. So all I need to do really is... I just need to put in a, a mark there, do I? He types there anyway. Well, that should be right because it was resting on the floor before. So I'll measure that and cut off the top. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. 
I can't get this back on there. See me batteries going on. So this is the piece with the the funny side in it. The angle. The funny side. Angled side. Angled. <laughs> Angle. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take that off. And hopefully it'll fit something like in the corner. Hopefully. Come on, no time for coffee. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> you already drunk mine. Coffee in one go because I ain't got time to wait. I know that looks slightly out, but that's because that packing needs to be there, see? Yeah. So oh, I'm going to cut uh, down here. Yeah, just for the... Uh... And I've got to try and get past here because there'll be a strip that runs along there. So I'll, I'll go past an inch. A bit like this one, really, because there'll be two more on here. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. And then that'll be... Well, it's sort of, it's sort of mocked up, isn't it, really? Yeah. Well, this is what it is. Once it's built, we can tile it. So I'll let us say there'll be, there'll be trim on here, this will all be edged, that'll all be edged, all the front will be edged. So I, all I need to do really is mark, mark the back of here and then I'll allow an inch overhang or recess if that's what's a better word. Yeah. Then I can trim all that properly As I, when, I go, when I come to do the trim around the door. Okay, gook. Okay. Job done for now. Well, that's just mocked up now, and it is very much mocked up. Uh, you can see the air gaps that will be behind there, behind the fireboard. Uh, this is all left for trim. Trim, or oh, and again trim to cover the door frame and the step. The step again, you can clearly see that's mocked up. <laughs> but uh, you get the idea I think hopefully you get the idea uh, we've seen some nice tiles for there haven't we so yeah so I've got to build a, a frame a wooden frame for around there and again allowing me to run a water pipe underneath it and I've really got to think about how those let's have a look I don't know what goes here hmm. uh, how these pipes come out of the heat exchanger so I've really got to think about that a little bit and again maybe if I can go out the back into the cavity behind and then underneath maybe that's something I can look at yeah mm, be nice and neat right then so scores on the doors this is the week after Christmas what we've already spent so we've got solar brackets for the solars on the roof which is £26. We got thermal wood to finish the, the, the ceiling, which is another £650. Uh, we've got the window interior liners, 
to go around all the windows, which is £600. Uh, we bought a TV, that was our Christmas present for me and Martin, that was £220. We bought the three radiators, so we've got the towel rail for the bathroom, one for the dinette area, and one will go in our bedroom, which is £375. And then the fibre board, which was £96. Fireboard, which is £96, which is obviously what we showed you earlier on. Yep, that's that stuff fire. back of there, yeah, fireboard. So our total at the moment is £15,236. Ouch. Mm. <laughs> hours, Martin's just under 200 hours, he's already worked, and I've done about 127, 130. Yeah. Yep. So looks like that's, it looks like Star Wars here from a galaxy far, far away, the way that's going through there. <laughs> yeah, I think we need a new sheet now. <laughs> we do at the bottom of there, so we'll have to do a new one. and We'll keep. We'll, we'll turn it over, shall we, so we can keep those numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good stuff. Move on. <laughs> right. COVID, COVID stop play. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, so it's, um, I don't know what the date is today, but on the 6th. 8th. 8th. Saturday yes, about, the 8th. Yeah, Saturday the 8th. So, uh, on the 6th, you, you'd been feeling pretty rough, hadn't you? Yeah. Um, and I started to feel a bit rough as well. So we did our own COVID tests and mine's come up positive. And your, mine came up negative. Yours came up negative. So in the UK, then we have to go off and get a proper test done with the NHS. That one also came back positive for me, and yours came back negative again. Yeah. So I've definitely got <clears throat> COVID. I was feeling a bit crook on the uh, the last bit of some of those some of those jobs you've seen there. Starting to feel a little bit. Couldn't really get the the clue was that socket. <laughs> I yeah. Couldn't even get the screw on. Yeah. So <coughs> it doesn't really make sense because I've had I've had a bit of a well I have had a cold like cold symptoms anyway, but. I tested negative on the two we tested in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, so it doesn't mean that you you haven't got it, I don't think, and it doesn't mean you might not get it either. So so we're isolating now for a few days. Hopefully I can get that cleared up a little bit and we can get back on get back to work, really, eh? Yeah, that's the plan. But, uh, yeah, COVID has just stopped play for a little bit. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get any worse than it really is. You just feel I just feel a bit crook, a bit tired. Uh, a bit achy. A bit achy, yeah. Achy yeah. more than anything, isn't he? I can still taste and smell, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> My appetite is on a... On a yeah, on he still a, wants to eat. I still want to eat, so, yeah, that's all good. So, uh, we, we hope we can get enough work done for video next week. Well, we're just giving it a few days now. We've stayed in the van and... We've got no choice, really. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't... It doesn't... It's not certainly not fair to be walking about the marina any more than we need to no i mean we can go to the the boat and work because we're on our own there but we've decided just to recoup for a few days yeah and just sit back and chill yeah give, give our bodies just chance to fight this off and then uh, we, we we all double jabbed and boosted didn't we so mm. fingers crossed all those scientists did what they they said they were going to do but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed the video mm -hmm. uh the work's moving on uh we waited for a lot of materials to land aren't we so yeah as well as well so hopefully we can uh we can get we can get started as soon as we feel a bit better and we've got the all clear because we there's, there's obviously now more tests isn't there yeah uh and if you could not be sick of my hand next time that'd be really good <laughs> i'm not very really good at the throat thing <laughs> <laughs> so, so I can't do it myself. So Martin did it for me, and then I thought was sick all sick over all my hand. It's like Jeff. Uh, that's great. So yeah, for now. So but not. So from COVID HQ, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, uh, sooner rather than later, and uh, when we're feeling a bit better. Um, take care, guys, uh, yeah. and we'll see you next time. Yeah, still give us that thumbs up. We still need them, and subscribe where you can. Yeah, and uh, send rum, vodka. <laughs> <laughs> medicinal, purposes, medicinal purposes obviously, obviously. <laughs> yeah we'll see you next time guys thanks a lot see you next time thank bye. you see you soon bye bye, bye. bye.